Hello, it is Brian with another Hot Wheels opening. I got this race case in the mail. It's in great shape. All original. Phenomenal shape. Got a sticker here. I could always use some goo gone and get that goo off of there, or even just a wet wet that's coming off just with my finger as well, too. So, race cases are worth about $20, $25, as long as they have all of the stuff inside. Let me show you that. We have one, two, three, four different cases of 12 cars. So we're going to break this collection down one by one. I would be here for a very long time if I didn't do it that way. So let's break it down. Red lines. Let's start with the non-red lines first. Let's keep it simple. And keep in mind I paid about with shipping about fifteen hundred dollars us for this collection this is the man from uncle car it's husky now it's missing its hood so it's just going to go into the bulk bin but that's what that is 1960s husky it's what kids in the 1960s played with This is another Husky as well, too. These tires, I might end up popping off because they do pop off. Um, Husky, this is the um, station wagon, Studebaker station wagon from 1960. It had a pop-up thing that sat here in this shell. That's why it's not worth anything. Actually, it's all in there. The pop-up person. Uh, it's a TV crew, actually. And I might be able to get that out of there. And reset it. I'll have to look at that. Hot Wheels. 1968 Mustang. There's not a whole lot here. It's from Hong Kong. There's not a whole lot here left of this car. But there's some tires. You might need those at some point in time. Um, the interior, uh, it was definitely a Hong Kong car because it didn't have a dashboard. It's been painted as well, too. It was an early car because it did have the black in the back. But here's where the cars start to get a lot better. Here we have... A near mint, this is about 95%. There are a few little teeny tiny ticks there in the paint around the front. There's a little bit of a tick in the sticker. There's a little glue from the number on the sticker on the door, but that's no big deal. Very, very nice. Nearly 95% car. Black roof as well, too. That is the TNT bird. TNT bird. And it's a US car. No, that should be a Hong Kong car. Yeah, Hong Kong car, sorry. As soon as I see the blue, it's like, oh, what is that? That's a Hong Kong car. A beautiful car. That'll be on my Etsy channel here soon. Stunningly beautiful. Another near mint with the chrome windows that is yellow. Most of the time there's a little bit of paint missing on the back. This one here is just stunningly beautiful. Awesome suspension. Peeping bone. That'll be on my Etsy channel soon. Let's 
sometimes the cars are a little bit harder to get out of these cases and I want to be as cautious as possible without doing any damage to the cars. I've got two of these, by the way. One's in a little bit better shape. This one here has a little bit more stuff going on on the roof of the car. Um, but this is just a stunningly beautiful Barracuda 1968. Barracuda from Hong Kong. It's not a hybrid car. Stunningly beautiful. I've got two of these in this collection. One will be on one of the other runners here. And the other one's in a little bit better shape. I think they're both Hong Kong cars. Look at those wheels as well too. 1968, you just don't find cars like this in that kind of condition. That again is a near mint, 95% car. Uh, this one might be 90 because of the roof. The other one's just a touch nicer. Exceptionally rare color as well too. Very, very hard to find. That's copper. Stunningly beautiful. Then we have a 1970 Mercedes Benz. This is an interesting color because it's not copper, it's the brown color. Brown in some of these cars is very, very difficult, but on the uh, Mercedes, it's pretty common. Again, it's a blue glassed, white interior, Hong Kong car. Not as nice as the other cars in the collection, but still just, you know, a nice full red line in decent shape. And brown's a tough color. Actually, that's not brown. It's bronze. Sorry. Bronze. And you can see Hong Kong car. Nice. Next car in the collection is this Ford J car, number 60. Again, just very, very nice car. It's all there. It's a Hong Kong car as well, too. Ford J car, 1968. White enamel Ford J car, 1968. Let's go up here. This will be easier to get out. So here we have the Alive 55 or Classic Nomad. Sorry, they also called these Alive 55s. This is the Classic Nomad. Again, 1969. Very, very sharp. A little bit of toning of the red. A little bit of a spot up here on the roof. That spot on the roof ends up knocking it down to a 90% car. But stunningly beautiful. Again, another classic Nomad. This looks yellow, but I'll have to go in there and look at it a little bit closer to figure out exactly what color that is, because that could be one of the limes. Um, it's probably not the yellow. It's probably a lime or an antifreeze. And I'll go into my color charts and figure that all out as well, too. A little bit of you know, stuff going on there on the door. Paint is still there. No paint loss on this car at all, really. It's a beautiful car. Roof's in a little bit better shape than the last car. This is at least a 95 to a near mint car. Stunningly beautiful. Alive 55. Or Classic Nomad, sorry. Classic Nomad. It's getting a little late at night. Just got back from vacation as well, too. So this car in the collection, again, 1968, stunningly beautiful. Wheels are beautiful. Everything is beautiful. These are not super expensive. Um, and sleepers in the 68 series. This is the Python. Green, definitely green Python, black roof, and a U.S. car. Green 68 Python. 
And this car was having a little bit of trouble getting out of there earlier. Let's get in here and figure out what's going on. Keep trying to do, do it the same way, Brian. You're always going to get the same result. It's funny. Here we go. I can get it from here. Red. Definitely red. That is the Mantis from 1970. Mantis. This glass opens up as well, too. As you can see. Glass opens up. Really nice Mantis red. Red's more of a common color in the Mantis, but it is a very, very nice. Typical toning on this uh, base as well. Um, very little paint loss, just around the edges. This would be about a 90% car when it hits uh, Etsy as well, too. Mantis. Super, super sharp. So that's it for this particular video. Thanks for watching. Um, these are going to end up on my Etsy channel, hopefully this weekend, but they will get there soon. Uh, I need to keep them moving. Uh, some beautiful cars in there as well, too. And just can't wait to be able to get them out into the marketplace. This Mustang will just go into the bulk bin. I'll take those tires off of there. And the Husky guy, I'll see if I can't fix that to cameraman. But the man from Monk will just go into the bulk bin as well, too. And I have lots more in this collection to have to go through as well, too. So keep tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe this page. Um, I do uh, Windsor Real Estate, um, which is the second most watched videos here. Um, I have an Etsy channel at uh, Windsor Diecast where all these cars will end up going in and being put up there for sale again. Um, and I also have a store here in the city of Windsor at uh, Holland Consignments on Ottawa Street at Moy. Ottawa at Moy, across from the TD Canada Trust. I do have a die cash shop in there where all of my cars end up going to as well too once they get posted out on my Etsy channel. Have some awesome cars coming up and to give you a quick highlight, Here's one of them. Some awesome cars coming up, so tune in, like this channel. We've got some amazing cars to be able to talk about here coming up. So thanks for watching. If I can help in any way, don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me at 519-995-6145, or you can send me an email at bprice4567 at gmail.com. And of course, you can go by the, uh, the store, at Holland Consignments on Ottawa Street at Moore. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. Bye-bye.